Arteria. This meeting is being recorded. Oops. The teacher is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet. Yes. Uh -huh. give, me, give, me, <laughs> give me one second. I want to fix my headset. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> What about concert, Javier? Hey, what's up? Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, nice. Last Saturday, nice. I was I was in a versus with another another friend. In Anito Verdes, always. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Excellent music. <laughs> what music yeah. do you like? Ah, uh, everything. Even though Pedro Infante. <laughs> he has a nice voice. Yeah. So clearly. Yeah. I was listening a uh, uh, couple hours ago, uh, rock from 90s and 80s. Good music. Yeah, John Bolton. Yeah. Um, Foreigner. Yeah. Love I love you too. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Anitar. Red, red chili peppers. Red hot chili peppers, you like it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they are like 90s, right? Yeah, nice music. I love the song called Star Tissue. Yeah, Californication. Yeah, yeah, this is one of the most popular yeah. songs. Yeah. Good. I will be singing uh, November 5th. Oh, really? Nice. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What a nice there. <laughs> okay. Did you complete until unit two? Section yes. two? Yes, we are. Yeah, on. I'm finished. Section uh -huh. two. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. yes. This week we have to do section three and four, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Section three in the middle. Test uh, the section four is for the next week. Thank you, class. I fixed my headset now. All right. Oh, no, no worries. All right. So, how are you? How is I'm life? How is life treating you? No. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty. Life is not is not as as good as we like we like that. Uh, okay, with, with the love of God, we, we can continue. We can go on. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. All right. Oh, yes, you are a Bible teacher, correct? Bible teacher, yeah. 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 In my fam my family is full of all the religions. My I have one uncle, he was he is a priest. Oh. Sacerdote. Mm -hmm. I have um, my aunts or my cousin, my mother's, well, my cousins, my aunts, they are um, nuns. No, they are elders in Jehovah Witness. Ah, Jehovah. And ironically, their sisters, my other cousins, they mm -hmm. are Mormons. Ah, Mormons. So, you a teacher? Me, um, I am atheist. What? <laughs> yeah, I am. I am atheist. <laughs> I didn't understand it really. Atheist is I don't atheist. believe in God. Mm. <gasps> what? Oh. <laughs> uh? oh, it's a long I, story. <laughs> I can't believe you. I can't believe you. No, I'm not. I don't really. <laughs> but um, 
many people think that, oh my God, you're satanic. No, tampoco. Mm -hmm. I, I don't believe mm -hmm. in the Bible. That's that's. So it's kind of strange when we have a family reunion. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you try not to talk about mm -hmm. religion, but it's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, I have my uncle who's a priest, and my cousin Mormons, my other aunts, they are Jehovah Witness. So and I, I am atheist and <laughs> and they always like try to talk to me, convince me or and I start, OK, let's let's talk. <laughs> And it's funny because I, my mom is dead, but I remember before she used to call me and she says, David, yes. ¿Quiénes son los que no toman coca? Yeah, oh, mom, that's tía Annie. Oh, okay, yes, I forgot. And coffee, oh, that's... Not tío, coffee. Tío Roberto, and tía Annie. <clears throat> okay. And then, and this, and this, and then. And it's, a, it's a, this big mess. So my mother is funny. One day, she says, when you come to my house, she had number one rule, no religion. <laughs> no talk about that's religion. nice don't talk yeah. about religion yeah yes <laughs> and <laughs> and I, I i i have always been like the black sheep of the family like oh <laughs> but but i do read the bible i mean for for knowledge mm -hmm. all right <laughs> anyway and and da, 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 eh, i have many people here okay good so welcome class. Thank you, teacher. Let me let me open Thank the you, platform. Teacher. Let me open the platform. You're welcome. Hold on, let me see. So remember yesterday we did you practice? Did you practice the infinitives? Yeah. yeah. Yesterday, remember I told you practice when you're in the car, like. Oh yes. Yeah. You know, like yes, uh, to open the door, you do this, to do that. Mm -hmm. To open the door, I have to have a key first. Yes, good. To get married, you need to do. <laughs> you to get married, you need to get legally married. Mm -hmm. You need to to have a boyfriend. Well, yes, no, but you know, to get legally married, sign a contract. <laughs> yes, you, <laughs> you need to sign a contract. Very good. You need to sign a contract um, to get married in in a in a church. Every church has a different has a different protocol. Uh, protocol yes. mm -hmm. Yeah, every religion has a different procedures. But legally to get married, but you know, and you can say, oh, to get married in the Catholic Church, you have to do this. To get married in the Kingdom Kingdom Hall, Kingdom Hall is for Jehovah Witness, and to get married, I forgot what is the name of the of the Mormons, Miguel Antonio. Temple. The temple. Thank you. To get married in the temple, you need this. So, but the the thing is, is it's um, infinitive two, and then the procedure. Yes. Okay, so uh, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen with you. Do you see this lesson objective? By the end of this lesson, participants will understand how to use infinitive clauses to describe a purpose. Do you understand yes. what is a purpose? Yes, sir. All right, good. Yes. What is the purpose? What is that? Is somebody talking in the class? Okay, wait. Okay. What is purpose? You know, purpose is the objective. It's similar like to the objective, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. purpose, you can be... Um, you know, what is the purpose of life? You know, you can, or you can say, what is the purpose of, of um, like, for example, Patricia, I, I imagine she tells her patients, you need to take the medicine. The purpose of the medicine is for, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Yes. 
Yes. I, I have a question. Whoever, I mean, if you're in a laptop, are you using headsets or are you using the microphone from the laptop? The microphone of the laptop. Oh, okay. That's really, I don't really recommend you because when you use the microphone from the laptop, those microphones, they're really not that good because they, they capture everything around. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's why I'm alone at, at my bedroom. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Because um, it's like, uh -huh. so I really recommend you at least to use the headsets or the earphones from your, from your, um, cell phone or something. Okay, so purpose, purpose, purpose. Describing purpose, let's see. <clears throat> this is what we did yesterday, remember like four? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I have a question. Let me see. Daniela de la Cruz. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. What do you think needs to be done for people to throw the garbage, for people not to throw the garbage in the street? Uh, can you repeat? Yes. OK. Uh, you live in San Salvador, correct? Yes. Um, have you seen some streets in San Salvador that the garbage is totally in the street? Yes, there are a lot of. Streets. How how do you how imagine you are the mayor, alcalde, or how would you change that? What do you think needs to be done? Mm. I, I I'm not sure because we need to educate the people when they but are how? how because obviously cool. people obviously people don't understand because i've seen many things don't throw the garbage in the street don't throw the garbage in the street don't that doesn't work <laughs> so it's a it's a big problem we need to work in in it uh, with the kids the the adults, I think they they un, don't understand, and it's difficult to try to change change their minds. Yes, you know when I was a little kid, I this is what I would when I was a little kid in the United States. I I studied in the United States when I was a little kid for a couple of years. And I remember, okay, me until this day, I love to read. I am, I, I, I really like to read. I read many books, many, many things. Maybe that's why I'm an atheist, I don't know. But um, I remember why people ask me, why do you like to read? And I said, when I was a little kid, Pizza Hut, they had like a little contract with the schools. So if I read one book, I make a report, one page report. Today, this book is, this report is about this book. It's a story, blah, 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 blah. I turn it to my teacher, my teacher sees it. Okay, here, good, here, boom. She gave me one free ticket for a personal pizza, but a pizza this small, uh -huh. okay? <laughs> And me as a little kid, as an eight year old kid, I didn't care about the book. I wanted the pizza. <laughs> so what happened? I read another book and I read another book and I read another book and I got more pizza, more pizza, more pizza. Eventually, <laughs> what happened? I like reading. <laughs> so it was like psychological. And I think that's what needs to be done in El Salvador. For example, in the United States, in the schools, in the school, they don't teach you recycle, recycle, re reciclar. They don't. 
is psychological because every school it has white, white paper, color paper, plastic. Everywhere you go. You go to McDonald's, white paper, color paper, plastic. You go to a mall, white paper, color paper, plastic. Everywhere you go. So what happens? One day you go to a place and there's no white paper, color paper, plastic. You say, excuse me, um, there's no white paper. <laughs> And it's true, you know, like, you know, you're like, hey, so you are, uh, you are recycling unconsciously. And in San Salvador, there are no garbage cans. Have you seen that? No yeah. basureros. So it's impossible to, I would put garbage cans, maybe 10 in every block. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh Teacher, <clears throat> yes, could be a uh, uh, in order to avoid to throw throw a uh, garbage on the street. For me, could be it probably work out. Uh, it's a create a system of find. Yes, that's true. Too. People, yeah. In consequence, the people educate about that. I yes. think if if. Uh, if there a system of fines, could be there are more uh, more uh, garbage garbage collectors in the city. I think you are right. You're correct. Yeah. So that's something that needs to be done. Okay. Good. Yeah. So you understand, right? The things. If you are a boss in your job, imagine you are a boss and you said, "Okay, this is what needs to be done." Yes, we need to change this strategy. This is what needs to be done. We need to be more aggressive. We need to be more passive. We need to be more active. Yes, we need to think outside the box. You need many things, but need to, need to, have to, go to. Okay, so that's an infinitive with a purpose. So knowledge check, it says instructions match Hello? Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, do you hear yeah. an echo? Do you hear me an echo? No. No, no. teacher. Correctly. Okay. I hear myself an echo. I don't know why. Okay. It says instructions. Match each goal with a suggestion. For a health club, I'm sorry, for a health club to attract new people. What do you think needs to be done? It has to offer the latest. It has to offer the latest type of egg, equipment. Equipment. It has to. It has it to has offer. Very the latest types of equipment. The latest type of equipment. You know, you know which health club had a good um. Had a good approach. Do you know what is approach? Yes. What is approach, Sandra? Oh, something that is. Um, almost what we want to say, what we want to 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 get. Okay. Okay. Good. Did you understand what is approach class? Acercarse. It's like uh, objective. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's right. Sandra's right. Everybody's right. Approach is like your way of doing things. It's like, um, let me give you an example. When you're a man or when you're a little boy and you like a girl, sometimes you're shy, sometimes you're outgoing, sometimes you're negative and sometimes you're positive. And what is your approach to talk to that girl? If you're a positive person, you say, hey, you want to go out Saturday night? You can solo, boom. <laughs> That's your approach, direct. Or if you're shy, you start with the long, hi, hi. How are you? Hot today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're waiting for like that, that boom. That's your approach. Everybody has a different approach, yes. 
Um, there was this company here. Remember Herbalife? Yes. Yeah. They had a good approach. Um, I remember my my suegra, my mother in law. She went to an invitation. Um, mother in law. My mother in law. Yes. You know what the invitation? Imagine this is a health club, and they invited her to to a pizza Italia, something like that, in Santa Tecla. Really? Yeah. So everybody, oh. they went, they went to Pizza Italia, and they ate a lot of pizza and pasta. Imagine a health club. <laughs> and but it was a good approach because that was the approach. Do you like pizza? It's so good to eat. Yes, yes, yes. Imagine you can always eat this and still lose weight. How? <laughs> Herbalife. <laughs> you know, and, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was a good approach. Uh -huh. Does Herbalife still exist? No, right? I didn't know. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, it does? It does? There, okay. there is one, one sucursal. I don't know. It's how called. To it's called Branch. Yes. Yeah. Uh, branch. Um, branch on. Branch only. But it's Pas General Escalón. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. In front oh. of El Paseo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Oh, oh, okay. Yes. For now. Hey, have you ever gone? Have you ever gone? to a state's diner, the restaurant in Paseo? In Paseo, yes. It's good. Chinatown. <laughs> China. No, no, it's called state's diner. Ah, no, I don't know. State diner. State's diner. No, over there. That, uh, yes. It's good. There is two. Yeah, there's one in Santa Elena too. It's, 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 it's uh, near? No. Near? Uh, next to next to Herbalife. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? <Yeah. laughs> That's why I remember because the Paseo is a... State's Diner. It's um, uh, have you? It's literally, it's literally because it's American food. Oh, you know, it's like steak with eggs or for pickle. the for the breakfast. Yes. It's, the the story is gringos gringos made that and i think he is um he is a christian he's a christian person and mm -hmm. he adopts he has like a foundation here and the people that work in the states diner are ex drug addicts or drogadictos mm -hmm. ex drug addicts mm -hmm. so he helps mm -hmm. them and then le enseña oficio you know so he, it's good. That's why I frequently go because I like I like the objective of that, and the food is good. I recommend you go there. It's very good. Oh yes, thank you. Yes, it's, is it expensive or kind of? You know, it's a little expensive, but it's. I mean, let's say you and your girlfriend, it's gonna be twenty twenty five dollars. Okay. But really, I mean, the hamburgers, I mean, the hamburgers is like $10, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's like Benny Hens. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's expensive, but it's worth it, vale la pena, because it's a lot. You say vale la pena, sorry? Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Let, me, let me write it on the chat. Worth it. Worth it. Or not worth it. Come on, oh man, it's worth it. I recommend you go there. I recommend you, uh, you know. Uh, Oh, like, I'm sorry, Rafael, or maybe maybe you have a better option, but uh, I recommend you in, in Pollo Campero, there's this combo, it's called uh, 30 alitas and a giant pizza for like $20, but it's worth it because four, <laughs> four people can eat there. And, You're right. 
Uh, I, I Sunday Sunday I ate that and wow, that's a lot of food. And you can choose 15 alitas or 15 camperitos, and they give you compliments and, and this and that, and we, a lot of food and for the next day too. It's worth it. I remember the uh, breakfasts in Pollo Real, they're good, they're worth it. In Pollo Real. Pollo Real. And, yes, it is. Yes. And then there's things that are, eh, it's not worth it. You know, like when, when usually for recommendation, you know how it's about to say, hey, que tal, que tal es lugar? Eh, it's not worth it. Or yes, it's worth it. Okay. So let's do number two. In order to run a profitable restaurant, what do you do? You need to. You need, you, you need, need to, to hire a, hire a, a chef. Talented, talented chef. chef. You need to hire a talented, a talented chef. Talented. Talented, talented chef. Talented chef. Yes. You know, keep in mind that many options are, are good here. Mm -hmm. You need to hire a talented chef. Yes. You need to hire a talented chef. That's good. It's a good idea to offer desserts. That's acceptable. Yes, it's good, you, but no, it's not for that. Yes. It's not the correct. You need to keep up with the latest styles. That's good too. No, that's another in the other one. You know, one thing I don't understand. Uh, someday the uh, someday the voy a poner una pupusería. I don't understand how coming is in San Salvador they don't sell pupusas from San Miguel. From San Miguel. Have you ever eaten pupusas in San Miguel? Yeah. The curtidos mayonnaise. I never taste. Yes, it's different. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, it's not salsa inglesa. It's, yes, it's mayonnaise, but it's not salsa inglesa. Yeah, it's it's espesa, it's thick. It's uh, ketchup. It's, ke it's no, black it's ketchup. ketchup. Yes. Black ketchup. Yes. Okay. But, you know, many people might not like it, but, you know, it, it attracts, you know, pupuserias. Mm -hmm. You know, and the variation because you say, "Hey, you know that place they sell." Is eh, uh, is sweet, is sweet the 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 sauce in, in San Miguel? Is it the sauce because you say that it's like a, a ketchup and the ketchup is uh, is sweet? No, uh, yeah, but it, it's always tomato sauce, the, the the normal tomato sauce. But then there's an extra, like a little ketchup that you put on the curtido. Ah, okay. I understand. Like, like, okay. I got it. But sometimes they give you a, um, a knife in a, in a, in a trinche. <laughs> really? <laughs> How do we <laughs> fry them? Uh, fork. Fork. And fork. The, the fork. Yes, a fork and a, and a knife. You know, in San Miguel, in Pollo Campero, they sell tortillas. <laughs> there's an option yes 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 uh, another place that take uh similar things with pupusas is santa ana that have big pupusas oh yeah the uh -huh. yeah so you know imagine here having a place that has like different kinds of pupusas you know it would be nice for have you ever eaten pineapple pupusas Pineapple no, they're, very, they're good. They're very Not good. Really? And hocotes pupusas? It is. <laughs> wow. Well, no, I... It's a postery or yes. it, it's a food? Yes. In the, in the festival of, uh, of the hocote here in, in Cerro Verde, they make pupusas of hocote. That's interesting. I would like to try that. There's, yes. a, there's a pupuseria <laughs> in Antigua Cuscatlán that they... they um, they sell every kind of pupu. They even sell pupusa with frijol blanco, negro, frito, refrito. Yes, every kind. Like, I probé um, the piña. It's like oh. pizza. What is the name of that pupusa? similar for... Uh... La Carreta, I think. Ah, oh, La Carreta. Mm -hmm. The La thing Carreta. is, I, I this was a long time ago I went, and I, I never went back because it's always full. I don't know now if it's always full. But it was like, oh man! Um, just... Almost all the time, it, it is full. 
Yeah, well, on the weekends. So if you go, go during the week. Maybe it's not so yeah. full. It's better. Yes. Okay, to establish a successful dance club, what do you need? If you, uh, have, you have, 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 have a great music and lighting. Music lighting. And lighting. Light, lighting. Music lighting. 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 You lighting. need to have great lighting. music and lighting. 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 So lighting. unfortunately, Nimodo, light, Nimodo, you have to play Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I hate that music, but if I had a, because that's what children today listen to. <laughs> yeah, so. If I had a bar or a, or a restaurant, yo le pusiera entas. Yeah. Entas. I don't know. Like setentas, ochentas, noventas. <laughs> one hour, one hour of eighties, one hour of nineties, oh, one hour. Good of idea. Teens. Yeah, you know. Good idea. It's a good idea. Don't take my idea. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you see, Walter. Walter, <laughs> I share. I share my ideas. <laughs> you don't want to share that app there, with us, Walter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, can, can you imagine Man, that? Walter. That would be very cool, huh? To have a entas, you know, setentas, yeah. ochentas, noventas music. One hour each. That would be cool. Lentas. Okay. <laughs> Los entas. Okay. okay. Um, for a coffee bar to succeed, what do you need? Um, to offer, uh, it is a good idea to offer dessert. To dessert. To dessert. It's a good idea to offer dessert too. Very good. In order for a magazine to succeed, that's up to has to provide useful information. Useful information. To run a successful clothing boutique, it has to, to be the latest styles. Latest styles. You need to keep up with the latest styles. I think I think out of all these options, number six, it would be my last option for me to have a business. Mm -hmm. Because I don't yeah. understand that trend. And what is your favorite option of this? My first option would be maybe a restaurant. Do you like cook? Yeah, I like to cook. Mm -hmm. I like to cook, yes. You can't, uh, or only you do like. Yeah, no, I, I can cook. I, I think it's impossible if you can't cook now with Google, with YouTube. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's That's right. Right. <laughs> like, for example, I, I learned how to make jalapeno poppers now. Wow. Oh, that's nice. It's very easy, you know. You know what is the trick? It is in vez de quesillo, queso crema. Put in the middle. Put it in the middle of the queso crema. And... Oh, and I have an air fryer. Do you know what is an air fryer? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I so like it. Yeah. It's new. I have a question. Yes. Cook it good, the air fryer, or not cook it good? Cook good. I mean, remember, and uh, uh, the air fryer doesn't really cook. It just is like to finish the plate. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's good. I, I recommend you. It's worth it. Okay. Listen, vocabulary is qualities for success. What do you think are some qualities for success? Qualities. What do you think would be one? Experience or personalities? What do, you, what do you think would be ambitious. one good quality for success? For success. Ambition. Ambition. Discipline. I don't know. How do you say perseverante? Uh, that's a good one. Hold on, let me see. There, there are many words for that. Let me see. Perseverante would be consistent. Consistent. Yes, consistent. Hold on, let me see. Consistent. Consistent. Consistente. 
Okay, let's listen to this. A list of adjectives that will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable, gorgeous, industrious, muscular, slender, clever, charming, charming. knowledgeable, persuasive, tough, affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, well-written. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how muscular is a quality for success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for those who practice, uh, uh, the, 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 I don't know. If, if yeah. you are a U, UFC fighter. Depend. Yes, if you're a UFC teacher. For an actor teacher. teacher. For an if you, if you self in, in <laughs> or no, I, I, I think, yeah. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is like, I think, I think, I think, I think they just physical tourism. Yeah, yeah, physical tourism. Yes. 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 You're going to, mm -hmm. you're going to put a, a gym and it's already the, yeah, the muscular. Gosh, yes. Uh huh, yes. And model. Yes, tough, informative, okay, well written. Yes. No, but you know, like, yeah, but my, I, I would have chosen a different, a different. Adjective, <clears throat> but okay, fashionable. In order to be a um, what fashionable would be a quality for success for what area? Yeah, for for a model. models. Think for business men. For models and boutiques. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, actors. Actors. Slender. Clever. Okay. Gorgeous. 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 Gor it's called gorgeous. 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 Do you know what is gorgeous? I don't know, teacher. Like, it's like I don't know. Um, it's hermoso. Hermoso, hermoso. Hermoso, precious. Oh. Go on searching the ring. Like Go yes, gorgeous is. It can be a person, a place, or something beautiful. Like, wow. Like, um, yes, gorgeous is is synonym to like beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Okay. Bello. Or you know, like, wow. Look at the look at the beach. That's cool. you know, like when you go to Surf City. Oh you yes. See the beach. That's gorgeous. It, yes, it is. Or when you go to somebody's house, you say, wow. That so far like is wonderful. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful, beautiful. That's when gorgeous. We watch, when we got to Waterfalls, San Juan, uh, Eco Parque uh, de las Cascadas de San Juan, it's gorgeous. Too. You know, you know what I think is very gorgeous when you go to San Miguel and you see the Chaparrastique volcano is gorgeous. Oh yes, it is too. because it's like a perfect volcano. It's like there. The mm -hmm. rectangular. It's it's, per, it's not it's, it's perfect. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is industrious? Industrious. When you work always. Yes. Muscular. We understand. Slender. Slender. Slender is elegant. It's Figura. Is muy delgado. I don't delgado. know how to say. Como esbelto. Delgado. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Esbelto. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Uh, let me tell you a story about quality for success. I remember one time I was in my job and a person came from El Seguro Social to talk to us, a chat, I don't know, charla, about health, about eating correct. Correct? And I promise you, this person was maybe 300 or 400 pounds. Oh. Wow. Oh. It's very wow, heavy. Example. It's very heavy. Very. And um, 
<laughs> yeah, but you know, I don't think that was a good idea because <clears throat> people will not take him seriously. No. I mean, some people are laughing. <laughs> hey, I'm fat. <laughs> I mean, many people are, are fat, but really, he was telling us about the importance of diabetes, why not to eat bread, and what happened I mean, with you? <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody, I, you, oh, everybody, you could read their minds. Like, <laughs> como, hasta decían, quizás, está cubriendo por otro, no puedo venir. El... <laughs> yeah, so, for example, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was a good quality for success. Do you know what is L-O-B, line of business? L-O-B, L-O-B. It's called line of business. Line of negocios. Line of negocios. That means when you go to a company, what do you want to be? Do you want to be a supervisor? Do you want to work in human resources department? Do you want to work in supervising? Do you want to be a staff? Do you want to work in production? Those, o sea, because you work in Claro doesn't mean it's only related to telephone and internet. Correct? You like have a, a, option to yes. sales or customer service. Exactly. Those are called line of business. For example, Rafael Dabud, he works in Pollo Real, but he doesn't make chickens, right? So remember, every business, that's why it's called business and a line of business. So, oh, okay, so you want to work in, in Claro, in what line of business? Oh, I want to work in the technology department. I want to work in production. I want to work in operations. <laughs> So for example, this person that gave us a chat from the Seguro Social, he is in the wrong line of business. <laughs> Why? Yeah. He was. Because good, I mean, first good that he has a job, but his line of business is about health, about eating good, about being healthy. And he was not healthy. Mm. <laughs> he was he was a very obese man. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're in the that's a, uno dice, that person is in the wrong line of business. Or it can be something positive because in your in your business, like you see somebody who's very active, like man. Eh, I don't know, like wow, you're good, man. You should be in sales. You you're in the wrong wrong line of business. Yeah, the, the same applies when you uh, stay in a place that you need information, for example, and the, the people is uh, not friendly. Yes, that's that's true. You know, when you go and excuse me, can you help me again? Hello, no, excuse me, treat me nice. Was that you have to treat me nice because the company pays you to give good customer experience. You say, oh, no, you know what? You're in the wrong line of business. Maybe you're a good worker, but not for customer care. <laughs> All right. So clever. What is clever? Intelligent. 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 No, it's something more than intelligent. It's more like astuto oh. clever clever Picaro. Ah. yeah maybe yes uh, you know Mark, i i tell know. i tell my wife uh, you know, i tell my wife you know maybe women maybe are more intelligent than men okay but never more clever <laughs> we aren't we are good you know in general you know like because, you know, sometimes you speak, hey, ¿por qué los hombres son infieles? And, you know, and I said, you know, from experience, when I was a little kid, when I was with my <laughs> friends, women are very naive. 
Ingenuas. Mm. You know, naive is, is ingenua, you know. Yes. Women are very, very intelligent, maybe more intelligent than men. Yes. But <laughs> men are more clever. <laughs> naive. Yeah. Naive. Naive. Yes. Naive. 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 Así se pronuncia. <laughs> Pero no el presidente. <laughs> uh, that's how you pronounce. <laughs> it's the same pronunciation. Excuse me? Maybe it's the same pronounce the, the name of the president? Yes, but you don't say naive. Quitemos la ye, naive. 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 Where, where's the chat? I, I lost my chat. Bizarre. Hey, where's my chat? Oh, there you go. Uh, Hello. What the motto? Yes. Yes. Ingenuo. Yes. Naive. How do we say ingenuo? Naive. 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 Oh, there you go again. Look, yeah. Thank you, Jr. Yes. You know, like you say, oh, come on, don't be so naive. It's like, like, uh, los madridistas, they're surprised que ganó Benzema. It's like, come on, don't be so naive. <laughs> ya está pagado, man. Everybody knows, pero. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. No, you know, naive. <laughs> All right. Um, bizarre, but bizarre is, is not. It's not a... No, bizarre is like something strange, like oh, okay. bizarre. Mm -hmm. So we have charming. What is charming? Encantador. 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 Yes. When you're ugly, you need to be charming. Charming. Yeah. Encanto. That's yeah. what people say. Hey, if you're ugly, be charming at least. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine being ugly and 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 um quiet and angry knowledgeable You're lost sabiendo no knowledgeable <laughs> can you pronounce Experto. that knowledgeable not knowledgeable 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 intelligent yes. Next, we have persuasive. Ahí está persuasive, lo que hemos dicho. Experto, dice. Persuasive. 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 Yeah, okay, no, wait, okay. Knowledgeable. Yeah, okay, yeah. Knowledgeable is, for example. Um, expert? No, not an expert. Okay, let me give you an example. This is an example, and it's true. You like him or you don't like him, but the president is very knowledgeable. Because if you notice when, when he speaks, yeah. it, it's like knowledgeable. He's, he, 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 he's knowledgeable. He is. You know, when they ask him question, he, he, he starts like talking. Yeah, it, it, it can be very, I mean, it could be good or bad, but he is knowledgeable. No, no. Like now, I have never seen, hasta hoy, I haven't seen one reporter que, que lo oh, mueve. Que salga ileso, <laughs> yeah, like, like, like from El Faro, whatever, El Prensa Graf and he, he accepts them. Okay, go ahead, ask me. But, you know, they start telling him about, I remember one time they told him, uh, oh, Mr. President, the, the senators in the United States wrote a letter, yes. There's only four. Si cuatro escribieron the 240 senators. Eso hace el 3.2%. Wow, he starts like doing numbers in his head. <laughs> I said, wow. It's like now, a person is bien informada. Maybe. Yes, exactly. Knowledgeable. Ulta. Knowledgeable. No, no, not 
maybe not cool. Well, yeah, yes. Okay. Um, too much. I had a very, very good friend. Tell me, this is a uh, una persona, maybe a cold person. Cold. I had a very good friend. He died. He was from. Okay, so you tell me. He was from Germany. He died, maybe I think, ten years ago. He was seventy. So <laughs> And he had a tattoo in his arm. And the tattoo had numbers. So what do you think? The numbers have a... Uh, uh, well, I, don't know. I never asked him about the tattoos because I knew. But many people ask him, hey, what are those tattoos? And he always said, Oh, it's my phone number. I forgot. <laughs> I always tattoo my phone number. What do you think? <clears throat> Blanca, you, your microphone doesn't. You are on mute. <laughs> He yes. was in a concentration camp. Exactly, yes. He was in a concentration camp with the Nazis. Or maybe they he was an ass bitch. Or maybe he was born in a concentration camp. Because I don't know, I I I, I assumed because okay, he's 70, he's from Germany, he has tattoos. So if you were Nato Nato from Germany, no le hagan chat. Okay, so uh, you know, there's many stories, but I never asked him because I imagined it was, I I mean, it was obvious it was related to the Nazis. But but many people always asked him, hey, why do you have tattoos? Imagine en ese entonces tattoos no eran tan famosos, you know. And he was a doctor. Mm -hmm. So he or she? He. He was a doctor. He was. He was a very good friend, man. He 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 was very angry all the time. Yeah, right, right. But, you know, and uh, I I think I think that's a ser como culto, you know, like don't ask, don't ask uh, if, if you don't know. Uh -huh. well, I think that's the difference between knowledgeable and and cold. Now, difference would be okay. I was knowledgeable. Because I knew that that was related to the Nazis. Pero aún le pregunté, hey, hey, so you were in a concentration camp. Tell me about it. Mm, you know, no. <laughs> I don't think they like to tell those stories. So I just stay quiet. Y quizá por eso no llevamos bien, porque fue el único que no le pregunté. <laughs> Why he was in El Salvador, I don't know. Okay. Um, that's the difference. That's knowledgeable. Persuasive, tough. What is tough? Hanging tough. Whoa. Whoa. Duro, oh. difícil. Persuasive. Oh. Oh. Okay, yes. Is this kill for a, a salesman? Yes. What do you think? Really? Okay, now tough can be like, let's say in your work. Tough, tough can be. Tough can be like, you know, like my, my, my wife, she tells me, my wife, she's a dentist and she works in this um, clinic and she sees like 10 or 15 patients a day. And she tells me, oh man, I'm very tired. I'm very tired and my job is very tough, it's very tough. Mm -hmm. And one day we, we got into an argument because I, I sit down all day in my job. <sighs> And, you know, I said, and she tells me, wow, it's, it, you see, you don't understand because you don't, you're always sitting in your job. And I said, well, no, there's a difference between tough physically and tough mentally. Yes, because I am, I am always call after call after call, you know, like, oh, and, you know, like, you know, so, you know, what do you think is a tough job? 
for example, Jacqueline, I know that cooking is a tough job. Yes, teacher. Very tough. Yes. Uh, do you yes. you make lunch only or breakfast too? Yes, only lunch, teacher. What time do you start? I start at 8, 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I finish to 2 or 3 afternoon. Yes, that's a tough job. Saturday, I made cannolis and canola, canelones. <laughs> I only made like 10 and it was difficult because all these things you have to do <laughs> and like, oh, okay, good. I finished Luisa. And I think, oh my God, imagine having a business, a comedor. Mm -hmm. You have to make chicken. You have to make meat. You have to make canelones. I only made 10. I imagine you have to make a hundred. <laughs> so, and wow, that's tough. Do you have help or do you do it by yourself? Uh, I do it by myself. All right. Oh, nice. All right. Next we have. <laughs> yes. yes, it's true. What is affordable? I don't know in Spanish Economico? what is asequible, teacher. Economico? Okay. No. Affordable is. For example, in this moment, gasoline is very expensive, correct? Yes, it is. But it's still, it's still, maybe it is still affordable. Asequible. Yes. Okay. Now imagine, imagine if gasoline is twenty dollars a gallon. Oh no. Yeah, if it's twenty dollars a gallon, I'm sorry, I can't drive. Mm -hmm. I, I, I will buy a bike. A bike. <laughs> yes. Exactly, or walk. So that means I can't afford. Costear. I can't afford to pay gasoline. So um, I think, Miguel, you asked me about State's Diner. Is it expensive? It's not. And I tell you, uh, it's, it's really not expensive. It's affordable for the restaurant. It's affordable. It means it's like it's acceptable, but it's not cheap. No barato. It's not economical. Like Don Pollo. Don Pollo is it's only economic it's maybe free yeah very yeah. close to free <laughs> yeah, yeah almost free but I don't like Don Pollo okay entertaining hmm? entertaining yes what is something entertaining a host, mm -hmm. a clown. Very good, yes. To be a host, you have to be entertaining. Nice. I have a friend, uh, one of my best friends. He is very talented. And um, ever since we were little kids, he was always entertaining. And and now he's famous. And, well, in El Salvador on TV. And... Uh, and people say, hey, but no, he, he's naturally entertaining. Siempre fue así. Él. He was an entertaining person. And people always told him, hey, you should work in TV, work in TV, work in TV. And now he's in TV. <laughs> oh, good. Well, no, no, not anymore. Do, do you know um, his name is Roberto Acosta? I know him. Him, yeah. He's funny. Yes, he is. What you see, what you see on TV, he is like that in real life. Ever oh since God. he was a little kid, he was interested. It's a interpreter. It's the is his, the personality of he. Yes, that's his uh -huh, his quality is that he was always entertaining. In parties and everything when he was a little kid. Informative. Informative. Yeah, that's that's a quality, right? If you're an assessor. <laughs> well written. A letter. <laughs> well written. Well written. Well written. Yeah. Well written. Yeah. Well written. Yeah. Yeah. Orthography. 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 Orthography.
Redact buena, buena escritura. Buena escritura. No. Ortografía o caligrafía. Escri escritura, ya, yeah, escritura. Bueno, redactando. Yo, no, bueno, actually, no, redactando es, no, really, because I, th I think that the difference redactando es like, mm, muy larga esta oración, recortémosla, quitémosla. Mm -hmm. you know. mm -hmm. uh, ortografía es, like, hey, aquí va un punto, aquí es coma. Aquí. Yes. 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 So, well written es ortografía. Okay. Caligrafía. Caligrafía no, because eso es la escritura. Eso es la Stipe. forma que hace las letras. Stipe. Yes. Like a powder method. <laughs> like a powder I, method. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cali, what is well? Do you, do you know what is well? What is the difference between good and well? Good is bueno. Yeah, well is bien. Yeah. Okay, good. You understand. But do you think, imagine you're a teacher. Do you think your student understood? If I you're, say it in Spanish, I suppose yes. Okay. Well, so the one is an adjective, <clears throat> the other is a, a proverb. Um, uh, almost. I, I mean an adverb. There you go. Very good. Thank you. Good is an adjective. Good, good describes the adjective. Yes. Yes. And well describes the verb. So every time you see well, it's a verb. Mm -hmm. So what is, I cook good or I cook well? Good, well. I cook good. 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 So yeah. good is describing me or cook? Cook. Yes, it's well. Cook well. Yeah. Very well. Cook well. I cook, cook well, well. I because cook well. I, I'm describing well. my cooking, not me. Mm -hmm. That's right. When do I use okay. I? When do I use good? I am a good cook. Yes. Good cook. I am describing me, not no yeah. verb. Okay. I yes. am a good cook. Van a oír a, a nativos, okay. a políticos, o a gente así en, on TV que dicen, oh, my mother cooks good, man. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Grammaticalmente, it's not correct. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Pero según ese, hey, ¿por qué dicen I cook good y por qué cook well? What's the difference? Now you know the difference. Yes, it's, okay. And next, okay. and then we have well written. Okay, let me see. Let's do one. Lesson objective in this class, participants will listen to a conversation where ways of giving reasons are used. Just let's let's listen to the conversation first, real quick. All right. The newest place in town. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm not sharing my screen, huh? Yes. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, Soul Club. They have fabulous music. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Do you ever go to any of these places? Tell us why or why not. Okay, so when you say what's the newest or what's the best in town? So if you ever go to, um, Janet, you live in Son Sonata, right? Or, no, Santa Tecla. No, I live in Son Salvador, teacher. On, really? I thought you lived in Santa Tecla. 
<laughs> where, no. where in San Salvador? In Colonia Escalón. Okay. Oh, what is the best restaurant in town? In Escalón. Mm. What What is the best Chinese food restaurant in town? Um, I think maybe Chinatown. Oh, it's in Paseo, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, but did you see? Did you hear how I finished? The best in town, the newest. In town. Uh, in town, no necesariamente es en en su pueblo. No, in town es como en ese lugar. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say, who lives in Sonsonate? There's somebody here that lives in Sonsonate. No? Yes, I live in Sonsonate. Okay, Beto. <laughs> what up? Beto, imagine I am. I uh, hey Beto, look, I'm gonna be in Sonsonate on, on the weekend. What is the best restaurant in town? Mm, the best restaurant in town is the chicken steak. Chicken steak. Yep. All right, cool. But did you see that? So don't think town is the pueblo. No, I'm saying. Basically, I'm saying, what is the best restaurant I can go there? Yes? Yep. Um, Rafael, what is the best restaurant in town, like by El Platillo? Let me think. I think La Pampa. La Pampa, la Pampa is better. Pollo Real. Pollo yes. Real. Yes, you know. <laughs> I, oh my God. I, 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 was, you know, I was very specific, you know, by El Platillo, you know, maybe. <laughs> you know, like, oh man, Pollo Real is the. Wait, there's, there is a Pampa Argentina in. By el platillo? La Pampa. It's no, better. I don't hear you, El Platillo, because I live near the La Pampa. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, in La Pampa, Escalón. No, La Pampa, Santa Elena. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Santa Elena. Hey, what is the best restaurant in town in Santa Elena? La Pampa. La Pampa. And Pollo Real. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes. You know, in Santa Elena, I also like Clary Canela it's still there, right? Yes. yes there. In front. Yes. The the pizzas there are good. All right. So that's what you know. That's that's how you practice. Uh, like Patricia, you are from La, La Paz, correct? Yes. What is the best place in town? Not necessarily not best place. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily a restaurant. It can be like. I don't know, what is the best place in town? The best place. Um, El seguro. Huh? I think the best place place in town is Ichan Michen because there are many many trees. Uh, Any water? Can pools. Can have a good time with family. Oh, okay. Yay. Hey, very good. All right. There is the cipiquillo. Yes. <laughs> okay. And th this is another um, example of saying, look, I don't drink. I don't drink liquor, but yes, occasionally I drink one beer or two. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. um, before when I was 20 and now, uh, yeah. But now I enjoy one beer or two. And uh, there's this place in La Cima, se llama Neptunos. Neptunos, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you, it's by your house. It's near, near. I, I like that place because it's the best beer in town. It's, I don't know why, but I only go for lunch because I don't like at night because I, I don't know, I don't like, I don't like places where people talk and you can't hear like, ah, you can't, you can't have a conversation. So I go for lunch, you know, only like, so I say that's the best beer in town because they serve it to you. Very, 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 very cold. 
and you enjoy it. Uh, it's like, ah, this is good. You know, you drink one, two, and go home. Uh, yeah, three, four, five. Ya se queda hasta, hasta el son. Place, uh, uh, there are many years here. Yes, and, and but my expression is the best beer in town, Neptunos. What is your favorite pizza? Uh, what is your favorite food? I like pizza. Oh man, go to, I don't know, get pizza, the best food, the best pizza in town. It's nice. Yes, it's nice. Yes. It's very good, but it's very expensive. Yes, but see the you best. Bye. Sorry, I had yes. to go. Okay, yes, I, I will see you tomorrow. Have yes. a great day. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> class. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night.